That was Cleopas. Cleopas? The disciples knew him. He was a good friend. They opened the door. Cleopas came in with another man, and their faces were shining with joy. While somebody locked the door again, Cleopas said, We saw Jesus. He walked with us and talked with us. He told us why he had to die. The disciples said, Peter says he saw him too, but how can he be alive again? And then all at once, Jesus, Jesus himself was right there in the room. He stood there looking at them with love and said, Peace be unto you. The disciples could hardly believe their eyes and ears. Was it really Jesus? He showed them his hands and his feet and with the holes where the nails had been. And he showed them his sides where a soldier had stabbed him. Still, they could hardly believe it was really Jesus. But when he ate some fish and honey, at last they knew it was Jesus. It was their own dear master, alive again. Then Jesus told them why he had to die. Long, long ago, God had promised to send a Savior. He told them he was the Savior. God had sent him to die for the sins of the whole world and to save his people so that they can live with him forever. Jesus did not stay with his disciples. He went away and they did not see him for a while. But he came back. He showed himself to, not, to them now and then for 40 days. He wanted them to be sure that he was alive. One time he met them by the Sea of Galilee and had breakfast with them by the water. Another time he came to 500 friends. They saw all saw him at the same time. Oh, happy they were when they saw him. What happened in the story? Jesus what? Died. And then? He became alive. He became alive. Who was the friend? Uh, Claire. Claire. Cleo. Cleo. Pass. Pass. Okay. So did you know that Jesus died and then rose again? And the disciples were sad. Were yes. sad. And then when they saw Jesus, they were? Happy. Happy. That's good. You'll learn more about this when you become older. What page was the one that we in? 84, 85, 86, 87, 85. I'm thirsty. Get the water. What? Can you recite to me John 3.16? <laughs> you know it now, but sometimes you think. If we got that, I no. by shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down and make pastures. He leads me beside sweet waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness, for he snakes sick. Even though I walk through the valley, I the shadow of that. I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and stuff, they comfort me. You, I prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Then my, my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, so we're going to read Winnie the Pooh by Ernest H. Shepherd. I know that uh, this book, it belongs to a set of four. So we're going to read the orange one. Uh, we're almost done with the pink one, but I decided to change the book because I think I didn't bring the pink one. So here, this is literature. We read it for seven minutes per day or per um, lesson for literature. Okay, so let's start now. Chapter 1 in which we are introduced to Winnie the Pooh and some bees and the stories begin. Here is Edward Bear coming downstairs now. Bump, bump, bump on the back of his head. 
behind Christopher Robin. It is, as far as he knows, the only way of coming downstairs. But sometimes he feels that there really is another way. If only he could stop bumping for a moment and think of it. And then he feels that perhaps there isn't. Anyhow, here he is at the bottom and ready to be introduced to you, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, who's that? Yeah, here. When I first heard his name, I said, just as you are going to say, but I thought he was a boy. So did I, said Christopher Robin. Then you can call him Winnie. I don't, but you said he's Winnie the Pooh. Don't you know what there means? Winnie the Pooh. Ah, yes, now I do, I said quickly. And I hope you do too, because it is all the explanation you are going to get. Sit down properly and listen. Sometimes Winnie the Pooh likes a game of some sort when he comes downstairs. And sometimes he likes to sit quietly in front of the fire and listen to a story. This evening, what about a story, said Christopher Robin. What about a story, I said. Could you very sweetly tell Winnie the Pooh one? I suppose I could, I said. What sort of stories does he like? About himself, because he's that sort of bear. So Winnie the Pooh is a bear. Oh, I see. So you could very sweetly, I'll try, I said. So I tried. Once upon a time, a very long time ago now, about last Friday, Winnie the Pooh lived in a forest all by himself under the name of Sanders. What does under the name mean? Asked Christopher Robin. It means he had the name over the door in gold letters and lived under it. Winnie the Pooh wasn't quite sure, said Christopher Robin. Now I am, I said, a growly voice. Then I will go on, said I. So I... One day, when he was out walking, he came to an open place in the middle of the forest. And in the middle of this place was a large oak tree. And from top of the tree, there came a loud buzzing noise. Winnie the Pooh sat down at the foot of the tree, put his head between his paws and began to think. First of all, he said to himself, that buzzing noise means something. You don't get a buzzing noise like that. Just buzzing and buzzing without its meaning something. If there's a buzzing noise, somebody's making a buzzing noise. And the only reason for making a buzzing no noise that I know of is because you're a bee. Then he thought another long time and said, and the only reason for being a bee that I know of is making honey. And then he got up and said, and the only reason for making honey is so, is so as I can eat it. So he began to climb the tree. So we need the poo climb the tree. Huh? This is we need the poo. These are the bees. This is the tree. That's a tall tree. Yeah. It is, and the bees are on top. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed and as he climbed, he sang a little song to himself. It went like this. Isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? Buzz, buzz, buzz. I wonder why he does. It's a song, but I don't know what that's, that the the song's tune is. That's, I think that's not a song. No, I, I don't know uh, how to sing it, eh? so I just read it to you. Then he climbed a little further and a little further, then just a little further. By that time, he had thought of another song. It's a very funny thought that if bears were bees, they build their nests at the bottom of trees. And that's so if the bees were bears, we shouldn't have to climb up all these stairs. He was getting rather tired by this time. So that is why he sang a complaining song. He was nearly there now. And if he just stood on that branch, crack! What happened? Crack. Yeah, the tree crack. Or the branch of the tree crack. Oh, help! said Pooh as he dropped ten feet on the branch below him. If only I hadn't, he said as he bounced twenty feet onto the next branch. You see what I meant to do? he explained as he turned head over heels and crashed onto another branch 
30 feet below. What I meant to do? Of course, it was rather, he admitted as he slithered very quickly through the next six branches. It all comes, I suppose, he decided as he said goodbye to the last branch, spun round three times and flew gracefully into a gorse bush. It all comes of liking honey so much. Oh, help! He crawled out of the gorse bush, brush and prickles from his nose, and began to think again. And the first person he thought of was Christopher Robin. Christopher, but must have not hurt. Uh, I guess so, look. Oh. It was hurt. Um, it said here that, um, wait a minute, here. Prickles from his nose. He's hurt? Yeah, he's hurt. Of course. You like the story? Better than the other book, right? Better than the pink. It's better than the pink one. Because it's Disney. No, this is not Disney. This is ano, a different one. Yes, I... Okay, here. Oh. After that, then we're done. Look at lesson five na naman kayo. Can you read this one? No. Dan has an axe. Dan has an sun set has dad an axe. Dad? Is this dad now? Can I take a video of you? Dad has wax. Dad was <coughs> Dad was sad. <coughs> Max wa was mad. Tad? Tad? Wash. Tad? No. Tad was? What's the last letter? Uh, um. Okay. Tad was? Tad was. Tad. You said it, eh? Tad. Was? Was. Tad. Tan. Tan. Okay. Tan has. Tan. Tan, yeah. What? What's this? I mean, Daddy? Yeah? Um, mud. Kelly, go there. We're homeschooling here. Good. No, no, to read that one. Fully. And you are fast, huh? Yes. How about this one? Wangi, wangi, wangi. Dan? Dan? Ah, ah. Ah. Diba end? End? Dan, end. Dan, end. Dan, end. Huh? Dad. Had. Land. Sand. 
dann You're a Disney hero. Dann dann an Sam. Bisa pala nito magbasa? Very good naman si tatay. Max! Konti na lang yung mga errors niya. Ang galing niya ni tatay. I think tatay deserves a kiss. In the lips. Ew! Max? Eh? What's this? Ah. Ah. I'm... Tatay. Land? Dahil na ba niya? Hindi ko lang ito. Land? The last one. Land? And? Sand! Good. I cannot read everything. I cannot read a thousand. Ne, you will write dapat. Okay, time for copy work. I'm the next teacher. <laughs> and the last I will teacher is Derek. Next lesson of Atasha is writing. And though I Hi. <laughs> I don't write beautifully or Nice. What's your your name? What's the day today? Nice. Okay. So. That's it. Five minutes. Hey, Siri. Timer five minutes. Okay. Five minutes and counting. Okay. We have five minutes for writing for the day. Okay. Can awesome. you write uh, Dan and Sam? Dan. Capital D. Dan. And. Dan. Hmm? Dan. Dan? Yeah. This is Dan. Mm -hmm. Dan. Spell Dan. D. Mm -hmm. N. Again. Da. Spell Dan. D. A. N. Very good. Oh. Wow. Write it. This is so hard. So hard. It's so hard. the last letter and 
and and uh, a and b very good too far too far okay next word is sound sound space okay Okay. It's fat. Oh, that's right. A. Mm -hmm. Dan. M. It's fat. Period. 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 Can you read the sentence? Sentence. Dan. Sam. Okay, very good. How about uh, Dad? What? Dad. Dad. Has. Dad has ham. Has? Okay. Has. This is not screenable. It's alright. A. S. <laughs> it's alright. That's nice. At what bird? Has. Has. Yes. Ham. Ham? Delicious food. Mm -hmm. Where? Here. Okay. Ham. Ham. M A or A M? Not. A M? Hmm. Very good. Ham. Ham? Oh, sorry, I forgot. That's right. Uh, okay. Period. Period. Okay, so that's con that concludes our writing subject for today. That's for five minutes. Even though it's not perfect, but little it's by little or so. Very big. There's a progress. It's not perfect, all. No. But it's you not. said it's not. See? Because, diba, you wrote it. What? Here it is a tumbler. Huh? You want a glass? Okay. What's our next subject? I'll give water lang kay Ken. Okay, for arithmetic, I have here. Wow! Very good. Thank you. We have lesson. Go kay Nana. Go kay Nana. Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay, for our next subject, I'm gonna take up. it's arithmetic. So I wrote here how many? One, two, three, seven problems, and I yeah. also will try to answer. Only addition and subtraction. Okay. Mm. Hey Siri, timer seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes and counting. Okay, seven minutes for the arithmetic subject. Go. Nine plus seven equals. Count seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, sixty, 
16. 16. Very good. Mm. 16. I got take ups. Is this a nice 16? Yeah. I'll go next. 9 minus 7 equals. Seven. The answer is two. I'll try to drink water. Mm. You have hiccups. But it doesn't taste good. No. Let's drink. Okay. I think someone is cut. Mm -hmm. Two plus one equals. We are cut one. One, two, three, three. Huh? How do you write three? Next. Three minus two equals. R, R M of two. The answer is one. Five plus five equals. Five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, mm -hmm. twelve, thirty. Again, again, again. Again. Okay. Five plus five equals this. Or mm. What's the or process? Done? What's the process? Hmm. Read the what? answer. Mm -hmm. no. Ow. What's the hand? Mm. Then? Count. Mm -hmm. Five. Mm. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Ten. One first. One first. Okay. Oh. Got hiccups. Why are you laughing at no. me? Three plus four equals. Oh, yeah. Got four. I've got three. 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 Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Uh. Seven. Um, I'll drink water first. Mm. Empty. Oh, no. Okay, last. Ten minus five equals. Ten? No, 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 no. How do we do that? Like this? Mm hmm. Then what? It was five. Okay. Then? The answer is five. Okay. Tasha finished it. Uh, all the problems. Uh, it's almost five minutes. So I have to pause it. Nine. Check and check, 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 so check, check, check. Hooray! Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's perfect, but you're very good. Okay, now it's your practical. Now Filipino! No, no, you have two minutes, Pa. We have 
Okay, Tasha, can you count how many windows okay. do we have here? Five, one, two, three, four, five windows. Very good. How about doors? How many doors do we have? One, two, Again. two. Okay, that's two. Oh, one, two, three. 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 One, two. And three doors. Very good. Can you stand straight? Can you walk uh, seven steps forward? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you move? Can you walk uh, four steps backwards? One, two, three, four. Okay. Can you walk three steps on towards your left side? Uh, what? Left. Left side. How much that so, it is? How? Walk, walk towards your left. Left. Side step. Oh. Walk three steps. One, two, three. Okay, very good. Jump four, four times. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this table, ah, uh, this chair. I mean that chair. How many legs does it have? One, two, three, four. Four. Very good. So, how many eyes do you have? Two. How about ears? Two. What? What else do you have two of? Mm -hmm. And feet. Okay, now we will read the uh, Filipino. Filipino, not Filipino. Book. Filipino. Tagalog. Yeah, Tagalog book. Okay. Title of the book is Mahabang, Mahabang, Mahabang. Mahabang, Mahabang, Mahabang. Okay. So this was written by Enero R. Goho Cruz. And drawing by Gani Bautista Madueño. Madueño! Okay. okay, let's read. Mahabang mahabang mahaba ang pangalan ko. Gatpuno ping Emilio Juanito Santiago Arlacanilao. Arlacanilao? Yeah. Kapag isinulat ko na ito, talagang napapagod ako para akong tumatakbo sa paikot na daan, migla na lang mapuputol at liliko. Kaya siguro tuwing natatapos ako, nahihilo ako ng parang nabangga ang ulo ko sa pader. Ulo. Mas ulo. Lagi tuloy akong naiiwan sa classroom kapag recess. Sabi kasi ni teacher, di raw pwede mag-recess kapag di pa tapos isulat ang buong pangalan. Kapag naman natapos ko ng isulat ang buong pangalan ko, tapos na rin kumain ang mga kaklase ko. Naglalaro na sila. Ako, kumakain pa rin. Kahit pag-uwian, huli akong lumabas sa classroom. Buti na lang sinasamahan ako ni teacher. Bakit nga ba kay haba-haba ng pangalan ko? Kulang na kulang ang haba ng isang linya ng papel para maisulat ang buong pangalan ko. Kahit nga umabot pa ako sa likod ng papel ko, hindi pa rin kasya. Minsan, sinubukan kong gawing maliit na maliit ang sulat ko para lang magkasya. Napagalitan naman ako ni teacher. Hindi na raw kasi niya mabasa. Di sana ako parang umaakyat sa mataas na flag flagpole. 
ng so, aming paaralan. And you get the name. Hmm. Di sana sumasakit at pinagpapawisan ng aking mga kamay. At di sana parang inilubog sa tubig ang aking papel. Okay. Sana may lapis na nagsusulat mag-isa. I wish for that. Ibubulong ko lang ang aking pangalan tapos isusulat na ng magic lapis. Di sana sumasakit at pinagpapawisan ng aking mga kamay. At di sana parang inilubog sa, sa tubig ang aking papel. Teacher, pwede po bang isang pangalan ko na lang isulat ko? Tanong ko kay teacher. Aba, gat puno. Ping, Emilio, Juanito, Santiago, Arla, Canilao. Ang tunay mong pangalan, kaya ito ang dapat mong isulat. Ang EJ ay palayaw mo lamang. Sagot ni teacher. Sana talaga may lapis na nagsusulat mag-isa. Isang araw, may bagong laro ang dala si James. Pulang kotse. Naku, ang ganda-ganda talaga ng kotse niya. Bagong-bago, ligalo sa kanya ng tatay niya. EJ, laro tayo ng kotse ko. Mami ang reses ha? Yaya sa akin ni James. Oo ba? Sabi ko naman habang binibilis ang sagutin. Yung pinapagawa sa amin sa mat. Tatay? Hmm. Like it at furniture because you have the table there. No, there's space on the side. Okay. Exactong nagring ang bell pang recess nang ipinasa ko ang papel ko. Maglalaro na kami ni James ng kotse. Eh bakit palayaw mo lang ang isinulat mo rito sa papel mo? Ang sabi ni teacher nang makita ang papel ko. Kailangan isulat mo ang buong pangalan mo. Para akong tumatakbo sa paikot ng daan, bigla na lang mapuputol at liliko. Kinuha ko ang papel ko at sinimulan ang mahaba kong pangalan. Nasa milyo pa lang ako ay naririnig ko na ang tawanan nila James at ng ibang kaklasiko. Pinaglalaroan na nila ang bago niyang kotse. So we're done with uh, the first part of our homeschool. Later we'll have... Uh, Nature walk, and we'll water the plants, and art appreciation. Okay. Art appreciation. I'm the best. <laughs> art appreciation. The painting. <laughs>